Violent fight between parents at a youth softball game, and there's video. Here it is. The fight getting both North Carolina teams suspended from the league, even though no players or coaches were involved. Local leagues now cracking down on unsportsmanlike behavior, making it clear they are not afraid to ban parents or even have them arrested. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins looking into this issue for us this evening. She joins us live now with more. Savannah. Fred, get this. This is an issue that's getting so out of hand. Some local leagues are actually requiring parents to sign respect contracts like this one before they can even sign their kids up, agreeing to be a good sport and allow their child to have fun. In a fight complete with blood curdling screams and children crying, fists fly, shoes are thrown, clothes torn. The setting of this bloody brawl? A 12 and under girls softball game. To me, it sets a bad example uh, to the little kids that that's how you uh, that's how you take care of a situation. The two teams, the East Wilkes Cardinals and the Blue Ridge Explosion, are both from North Carolina. The video quickly went viral, and both teams were suspended from the league. Hopefully, those parents can watch those videos and and see what they look like. Because of incidents like these, Carolina leagues are cracking down on sportsmanship. 100% unfair! In Mecklenburg County Youth Sports, for example, if a parent isn't being a good sport, they'll be suspended for a minimum of two games for a first offense. Act out again and you're automatically banned for a year. That's the behavior they're going to model for the children. All in an effort to put the focus back on the kids and on having fun. When kids see that the parents can't handle adversity, how are they going to handle adversity? Those teams are from Canton and Rhonda, North Carolina. Both have refused comment up into this point. Reporting live, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte. Savannah, thank you.